Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. There's nothing wrong I, I will die. That's okay. embarrassing. Behavior was uh, atrocious. <laughs> I watched the comments, the opinions that you guys had. It's interesting that just how a moment in time can shape how so many view you. It's interesting that when I present myself as a complete selfish mean asshole, that people think I'm a selfish mean asshole. You don't have to eat the whole birthday cake to know that it was made with rotten eggs. All you need is a spoonful. There have been some hurtful comments. I re have reflected on all of them that I was able to read. Because there was a lot of them, oh. so I couldn't get to all of them. <laughs> It's like that scene in uh, Miracle on 34th Street where they dump out the bags to Santa Claus, all the letters to Santa Claus. That's the hatred uh, online for her. And it has caused me some uh, more questions. More questions. Not changes, not... Uh, not apologies. Not apologies. Not... Yeah, it's more questions. It leaves me with more questions. Like there's a yeah, mystery that she's got to solve. How much of a stinking ass funky hoe am I? Yeah. Uh, ask gotta... that question. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Yo, what's up, Square Pimp Brigade? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. And I am, I, I'm kind of excited. A you little are? bit. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Just, Why, just Dante, a little this bit. week? What's uh, going on? Well, first and foremost, what's going on, Hal? You ready to rock and roll? Oh, my God, Dante. You know I am. I'm doing fantastic. If I was doing any better... I'd have stock in the Cheesecake Factory. I don't know. Uh, oh, that, and that's why I, I'm, I'm doing good, but not. I mean, I'm, 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 I always appreciate the fans and the people and the people that listen to our content. And, and, and everybody's been so dope as they liking and sharing and, mm. and, and, and passing our stuff on and, and commenting. So it's great. And signing up for the Patreon and supporting us in every way. But um, the Cheesecake lady, uh, she uh, put a little content out. Um, as per what her response was to uh, getting trashed on the um on on the internet, and what's what's got to sh shout out to the ladies, shout out to the ladies for being so accountable for this garbage person and how she's just not taking any accountability. And all through the comments, the women have been just. I mean, you expect the dudes to trash her because. It's such a personal thing for them. But for women, they're like, why would you treat another human being like that? Mm. And they have been trashing us. So she she basically made a uh, a, a little a little yeah, video. So to recap for the people not aware that the video that went viral was uh this this woman was on a first date with a guy who uh brought her to the cheesecake factory. And she started filming and was trying to kind of ridicule this guy for daring to take her, uh, a woman as fine as herself to the Cheesecake Factory. Then mm -hmm. we find out later on in the video that the reason he took her was that she was late for her own date. Yeah. And uh, an hour and, late. An, an hour, hour late. late. And this which went, made him, which forced him, he had a reservations for a much more upscale restaurant, yeah. but they blew the reservations because she was an hour late. Yeah, and aside from that, this video blew up, and generally the, the sentiment was this woman is egotistical, cruel, and mean. So now she put out a response to this because it blew up so much. It's been a while, but there have been quite a bit of things on my mind. I believe that many of you have seen the, uh, well, now viral video about me choosing to reject the Cheesecake Factory because I wanted more from my date. It's interesting to me, a moment in time, right? Can shape how so many view you. So wait, your big takeaway is that uh, how you present yourself at the moment changes the way people view you? That's your view? Yeah, when you present yourself it's interesting that when I present myself as a complete selfish mean asshole, that people think I'm a selfish mean asshole. You know, here's a a great man once said this. I think it was me. Hmm. Says you don't have to eat the whole birthday cake to know that it was made with rotten eggs. All you need is a spoonful, and we got hmm. more than a spoonful with her. Her her behavior was uh, 
atrocious. And uh, here's what I other uh, another thing I got my take from this. Look at your stinking ass car. You don't got a moonroof. Hmm. That little Indian dude had a full Defender moonroof, eighty thousand dollar car, hundred thousand dollar car. You ain't your Toyota Corolla with your with your fabric roof. You ain't even got a sunroof. Casting judgments on other people who want to take you to a nice establishment like the Cheesecake Factory. God damn. Yeah, and by the way, the other thing about this is when she goes up, people are trashing me because of my choice not to go to the Cheesecake Factory. That's not why people are trashing you. People are trashing you because of the method in which you chose to do that, which was your attempt to humiliate this guy and your uh, your attempt to belittle him and the notion of that because you felt like you deserved better, better because you're, quote unquote, good looking. That's why people don't like it. It's not. You know what's in, I just something that just crossed my mind, Harry. Mm -hmm. What if she had said. Oh, I, I really I really don't like the Cheesecake Factory. Would it be a problem? If we found some place else to go, what if she just said that? That would have been fine, and that dude what, would have. That dude especially would have would have he taken would have somewhere. Else. Absolutely yeah. a comment. I don't. If she just, I don't mean to be picky, but it's just I really don't like the Cheesecake Factory. You mind if we go someplace else? Yeah, that's not unreasonable. It's not, not unreasonable, unreasonable to go. I don't prefer this. That's not how she did it. She made the dude no. walk out of the car and then and then locked, locked doors, locked the door of his car. How dare you! Yeah. There's a there's a principle we talk about on the on the uh on the podcast all the time. RFF is reasonable, fair, and firm. Is 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 what I'm asking for reasonable? Um, am I being fair to the to you know in terms of the empathy to what the dynamic is? And I am I being firm about what my boundaries are? You know, I and and I think I, I think she failed on all three of those. So um, it, it just, I think it just, it was so audacious the way in which she was so disrespectful to a guy who really had a, uh, you could tell this guy kind of felt like he was, you know, st stepping out of his league, you know? Yeah. Um, and, and here's another thing is like this kind of men have this thing where they'd be like, oh, she's way out of my league. And just, there's this arbitrary value that we put on a woman's looks when look if she if she's uh you know let, let's you know if you're a beautiful beautiful woman you drop that beautiful woman and then you slide out of them panties and it smell like codfish you are not a beautiful woman anymore <laughs> that that beauty pageant you're definitely going to get low scores for that that's without a doubt um bad oysters in the panties that's a negative eight well, how about the emotional equivalent equivalent to bad oysters in the panties, <laughs> which is just a nasty demeanor. Just it, nasty. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, have to be physical. It. Emotional, and, like and I'm, but I'm, but it, it, I, I I say it like that because it's what it's what men understand is men yeah. put so much value on looks and stuff. But but what well, what about somebody who's odiferous? Mm. Huh? Mm, that, oh, that's like a big this word. Is, I like that. Yeah, you like that. It's, so it's like it's like we we we. I get that you want a certain level of attractiveness, um, just like a woman has her standards about a certain level of 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 proficiency or ability to earn money or height or whatever. But but the point is that uh, there are, you know, your looks is it it, it looks are a part of is a, one of the variables. One of the male, many variables. If you got the baddest chick in the world, and then you come home from work and she's blowing your father, it don't it don't matter how good she looks. Mm. Mm. It just, I mean, I'm just saying, it's just like, huh? Where? I didn't know you were coming home so quick. You know what I mean? It just, it don't, it it just. So we have to look at people in their entirety. We can't just have these knee jerk. We can't have these knee jerk reality re reactions about things. Just the way a woman can't have a knee jerk reaction about somebody's fame or somebody's car or somebody's jewelry. It's the same thing. You have to. We have to get back to the point where the content of somebody's character, who they are as a person. Are, do they tell the truth? Are they credible individuals? Are they empathetic? Those things matter. In fact, those things matter beyond everything else. And when we start to when we start to 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 put uh, value on that, then the whole world will change. I mean, this podcast is about a movement of just making people better. 
making yeah. relationships better, treating people kind, being honest. And you could you could change your feeling. You could not fall out. You could fall out of love with some, you could fall in love with somebody. All we're asking is you be honest and be reasonable, fair and firm, that you tell the truth, that you show some level of credibility and you show some kind of empathy about your decisions and be responsible for those decisions. Let's go. Yeah, I feel like we're not going to see any of that in this video here, mm. but let's see. Let's hope. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I, bear with me, guys. I wrote down some notes so I can remember everything I want to say. Um, Bitch, look at the notes. <laughs> I watched the comments, the shares that you guys, um, the opinions that you guys had. And I re have reflected on all of them, processed all of them that I was able to read. Because there was a lot of them, so uh, I couldn't get to all of them. <laughs> it's like that scene in uh, Miracle on 34th Street where they dump out the bags to Santa Claus, all the letters to Santa Claus. That's the hatred uh, online for her. Many of you have been vo vocal about how entitled I was, Ooh. how I misused this man. No. And I want you to understand that my mission has always been for women to empower women, um, for oh. women to feel respected, mm -hmm. cared for. Um, Here we go again. And, and, and my and, strategy is being a dirtbag. This yeah. is how I empower women. Yeah. You ever hear the phrase that uh, uh, cowards wrap themselves in pa patriotism is the cloak of a coward? Yeah. Right. This is the same thing where when in doubt, women who do trashy things and mean things always cloak themselves in feminism, that this yeah. was somehow for the a woman's cause. It, it's it's a ridiculous. woman's culture. This is yeah, it's about the woman culture. That's why I was rude to a guy because he took me to the Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory ain't cheap either. Yeah, Harry. It's not. It's not. It ain't McDonald's. It ain't it ain't Applebee's. Cheesecake Factory ain't cheap. That's true. That's true, but apparently she has super high standards. Mm. But it's all for somehow that leads to feminism. It's it's just when, not right to abuse. When somebody them. when somebody else is paying, she got super super. Yeah. What do they say? You got a champagne taste with beer pocketbook. Yeah. I don't know what she makes, but the point is, look, you, this is a this is a freebie. This is a gift, and yeah. you're, you're trying to get to know somebody. Get to know them. See yeah. what it is. They, and also, they could be a, a decent person, and this is why a lot of women end up alone is because you judge the character of the man you're with based on aesthetics and financials and and crap like this about which restaurant you're going to and you don't know to, to you don't know where you, you know who would have taken you to a five-star restaurant jeffrey epstein he would have taken <laughs> you to a five-star michelin restaurant nah, he wouldn't she's too old that's true he would that's true <laughs> she's she's too she, tall she's too tall for him she is a, a giant she is giganta oh i misused this man Many of you have been vocal about how entitled I was, how I misused this man. And I want you to understand that my mission has always been for women to empower women, um, for women to feel respected, cared for, um, not be misused, mis you know, or abused, right? I've seen and heard um, many a horror story, men and women, not just women, men and women. And I wanted to make sure that this was a topic that we brought attention to. Um, what topic? What are you? What are you talking about? She went out on a date, and she treated treated somebody like trash. This had this was no intention. She had no intention, but the fact that she was entitled. And again, this is this is why she, uh, this is why she should. Can, this is why she got trashed because it was just so egregious and just so nasty. And 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 just it, it's look. I don't care if you think men ain't shit. All men and dogs, you couldn't look at that dude and go, 
man, this this dude is a dirtbag. There's nobody there. And I think that's why this resonated with, with the internet. The internet is undefeated. Mm. The internet will just it will find a way to kick you in the dick if you if you an asshole. So I don't I don't know how like, as if this was an event where she was trying to bring awareness. You you was trying to get a free meal. Yeah, and and this is what we talk about with toxic people to just change the narrative for themselves. This is the story that she has to tell herself rather than making valid adjustments in life and reassessing what she did. She has to go, no, I wanted to create conversation. No, the yeah. horror stories about other... What does that have to do with you being Nothing rude and inconsiderate? Being awful. It doesn't. And this is the type of thing that keeps awful people awful. And, you know, you this is what you have to avoid. You just have to avoid this type of stuff. Like, there was a lot of... And I'm, we talked about it before. I guarantee you there was red flags within the text and the interaction of long course. before... Be- way before all of this. Way before stuff. all of this. Way before that, let you know she was a dirtbag person. You don't have yeah. to eat the whole cake to know it was made with yeah. rotten eggs. Yeah. Many of you interpreted uh, within, you know, interpretations that I saw. Interp, by the way, that's another uh, little word there. You could see the little word. Many of you interpreted. No, we saw. We saw what you did. There's yeah. no interpretation. Yeah. You're not doing, you know, uh, slam poetry. Um, many of you interpreted, uh, within, you know, interpretations that I saw, I want you to understand that this was never about exposing or embarrassing anyone. The purpose and was- And that's why you recorded to- it. Right. <laughs> because you weren't interested in Because you exposing. just wanted to keep it between him and yeah. I. Yeah. That's, that's you why you made it. it. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's why you made him walk across, open, open the car door, and you locked it on him, and you and rolled you down the window. It. And, yeah, and uh, I don't know. You know what? Sometimes when I do videos, just out of nowhere, I hit a bu- I hit a button, mm-hmm. and then boom, it's on the internet for everybody mm-hmm. to see. Yeah, yeah. You, you got a channel. You uploaded this with with this idea of the fact that that you actually thought you were a good person, and you're not. And you thought he was garbage for not putting up with your nonsense. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's the level of, of insanity that you're dealing with. That until this video came out, until it was a million to one yeah. against her, and even then, that is not enough to convince her to realize that no. she's the problem. Mm. The purpose was to spark discussion, to foster learning and growth. Right? Mm-hmm. Learning and growth. You you're making TikTok videos. You're not educating school children. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Learning and growth. I, you were not going to the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. Is this, was this your, this was your curriculum? This was yeah. your curriculum. This is insane. Ins- not only is she not, not only is she not to blame, she, she's doing charity work. This is, when you talk about, Dante, let's talk, remember the five. Uh, the three stages of manipulation. Right. There were three stages of manipulations as an interesting concept that that we would we've been talking about for years. It's usually angry. Anger. First is anger. Then it's uh after it, so it's like you're gonna do what I tell you to do because I said to do it. And then when you don't when and what's interesting is he didn't respond to that, right? Mm. When he didn't respond to that, it was like, as good as I look, you don't you don't feel guilty not spending all your money on me as as good as I look, mm. how could you think as a man, as a man, you're not a man. Basically, that's what she said. She was like, you're not a man. This is what, which is guilt. Second, mm. then it's sympathy. Well, I guess, you know, I, I had, I had, I, she goes, I, you know, I came in late and I was trying to get myself together and I wasn't that late, but pity. I had such a rough day, which is pity. Can't so we it's, compromise? Now it's, it's yeah. It's anger. Guilt, sympathy. And then when you're not angry, when you're not, uh, well, well, and, and she throws another whole thing in there because now she's righteous. Now she's righteously indignant because of the fact that she well, was that's trying sympathy. to bring awareness. That's yeah, sympathy. it is. You're right. Yeah, that you're falls right. under sympathy. Look and at bo- me. I'm trying to bring a message to, to you know, empowering women. Yeah, and then what happened? You're going to finish, but I know where you're going with this because we've talked about it for years. What happens is once you go through all stages, 
they'll try again, a person will try again and go to the very top. So it starts with back anger, to anger again. Yeah. Anger again. And it goes around and around. And every time you deflect, it goes around and around and around and around. And when somebody's trying to do it, the intention, the intention is to is to 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 make you think there's something wrong with you. And if you allow it to happen, if you allow it to happen, it'll just continue to happen. So you got to you got to go. But the, the thing is, you got to stop. You got to stop at the I, I'm not waiting an hour for you to come out downstairs. I'm, I'm just not doing that. If you thought this was what's interesting is what if I don't know, she's a little older. So let's all right, you know what? Let's say Will Smith. Oh boy. Told her, Listen, I'm coming to pick you up. Oh, boy. Will Smith left funky ass Jada. Right. And uh, cause she had to go get a she had to go get a haircut at the barber, oh, get her man. get her line. She had to get a lineup. Jada had to get a lineup, and so he's decided <laughs> to take this funky asshole instead. Cause you know he's definitely in the market for funky assholes, and he takes her. Would she have been an hour late for him? Would no. she would have been excited and ready because this is an opportunity. This is a come up. So what you got to understand is I understand that we all the time we don't feel like we don't always feel like uh, like celebrities, but you have to treat yourself with the same kind of respect that you would treat that you would expect to be treated by a celebrity. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter whether you are or you're not. But I mean, don't get me wrong. You have to be a person who you got to be the best version of yourself. And that's the that's the side of it. A lot of guys forget you got to be presently working on being the best version of yourself and most guys are not doing that either so there's that but i've seen some interesting interpretations interpretations again and it has caused me some uh, or entanglements <laughs> more questions. same same thing same thing patience and it has caused me some uh more questions Again, that's another one, by the way. The, the language is very nice. More, more, uh, more questions. Not changes. Not uh, not apologies. Not apologies. Not, not wrongs. Yeah, it's more questions. It leaves me with more questions. Like there's a yeah, mystery that she's got to solve. How much of a stinking ass funky hoe am I? Yeah. Uh, ask gotta, that question. Got to get the cast of law in order to figure out. <laughs> Just how much of a bitch was I? Oh, I don't know. I guess it's just one of those questions that doesn't have an answer. <laughs> there have been some hurtful comments. Some? People wanting to come for my job. It's interesting to me how angry someone can get about something. Things that don't directly affect them. Yeah, that's called empathy. That's <laughs> a, I know that's a model <laughs> concept for you. <laughs> <laughs> you mean oh, it's it's weird how people it care about other people i don't, I don't get it i don't, I don't give a fuck she's like a fucking robot just like what that's just learning how to cry what do you, what is what's the, what's the matter with you? <laughs> you you know what's crazy too it's just how can how can people care so much about something that doesn't affect them do you know what it, 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 it like this is a this is the era of people being triggered the, she her behavior you know how many men have gone through this in their lifetime just where a woman who 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 they would just wanted i mean because oh you know honestly mo they just want to you know how many nice guys just want to take somebody out to a dinner and take care of them and this and that and the other um I, the problem is you don't pick those guys no you pick the dirtbags you pick the people who you who are not accessible to you because you don't really like yourself. So again, this is that same scenario all over again. I like who don't like me. Because if you're garbage, you think that somebody who likes you must be an idiot. There must and be this, something wrong with them. This is why therapy is important. You gotta, you gotta dig some of the first things I think about whenever I do a consultation, men, women, I'm a, I asked, what do you think about? What do you what what's your best qualities? And you could always tell by what those answers are is how somebody where somebody's self-esteem is and how they feel about things. Because I am one who loves to Here we go. Discuss things, right? Here we go. Who's always 
open to learn and grow, I've decided to sit down for an exclusive interview with Kevin Wesley. So guys, you're going to get your opportunity to talk with me and Jay a bit more. Yeah, so she essentially learned virtually nothing. That's right. what we what we got from this video is she learned nothing and the power of denial is amazing and astonishing. Here here's I want to there's one thing I do want to give her credit for because uh and it's it's not much, but the fact that she's getting her actually, eyelashes uh her <laughs> the, put the on gluing the, gluing the whole eyelash on this time. No, uh, she did have them on nice. I mean, she probably come, she looked like she's coming from the gym, so she, she, she spent the glue. She spent the you know enough glue to glue them down. What's interesting is uh, she didn't think he was worth the glue. You know oh, I mean? that is interesting. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So okay, that's that's the whole thing. Uh, mm. now here's what I want to give her props for is having this dialogue. She wants to have this dialogue, which says a lot about her uh number one that she's open for this number two uh she's so oblivious to how awful she is to to have this to actually have a dialogue instead of just making the apology i mean there's not there's little if anything that she could say that justifies this. The only thing that she could say is that I, I recognize that I'm a spoiled brat and I uh, I should treat people better. Other anything less than that is unacceptable. But I don't know how. You, I mean, so but I do respect the fact that she's willing to have this dialogue. So, you know. yeah, I'll give her credit for that. But she is an influencer, so this is uh, yeah. I guess going to yeah, be be good clout. for. It's clout without a yeah. doubt. But uh, to me, it seems like she hasn't learned anything, and that yeah. really goes to show you, like. What does it take to turn the ship? I mean, yeah. this is, it's overwhelmingly on the internet, the, the comments are overwhelmingly against yeah. her and what she did, and yet still there's denial. And the denial is, the, the method she's using is going, well, you know, there's a lot of questions, it's made me question things, and mm -hmm. people have interpretations, and yeah. like, it's just a level no of denial. No responsibility. No. No responsibility. No responsibility. And that's why you have to cut these people out of your life immediately when they show you even the littlest bit yeah. Of of disrespect and uh, not being considerate, because because it don't get better. But I'll tell you one thing: if you wanted to get better, hit us up with a consultation at dantenero dot com. Click on consult. You can uh, have us guide you through this. These awful people, awful human That's beings. That's right. We'll help you out with your relationships. Uh, we can help you avoid these problems and get out of them. Just become a better person, not just relationships. Yeah. If you want a consultation from me, you can email me at advicefromharry at gmail.com. And if you really love the show and want to support us or you want more content, sign up for the Patreon. Patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do bonus content, uh, weekly shows, extra content, and we upload all the uh, archive episodes uh, starting from episode one, we were the Beige Phillips show. All of that is uh, at patreon.com slash manschool202. DYBB gets your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Uh, I love y'all, man. We are out. Peace. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.